Good afternoon all. The heat wave continues. So uh, I'm in the garden and I thought I'd charge the uh, battery for my bicycle, which is the one I modified. It had two lead acid 12 volts in there and I took them out and put in eight uh, lithium iron phosphates, which have a maximum cell voltage of 3.6 volts per cell. Now I'm charging this up with the Turnergy. See if we can... Uh, get that so we can see it yeah so they're all about 3.4 volts per cell but I think that's about to change and change fairly soon so just a quick look at the uh, setup I've got the Turnergy 8150 because it's a eight cell charger uh, most uh, chargers are six cells maximum you can get a few that are eight cells and I've even seen one that's ten cells uh, but this one I thought would be ideal for this, but it's not really because it doesn't charge very rapidly uh, I'm charging at one amp. I think let's have a look at that Yeah, so one amp and we're currently at 27 and a half Volts, but anyway, the system is that the Turnergy takes its power from this uh, 12 volt lead acid battery that in turn is being charged through my solar charge controller there from uh, that solar panel there which is an 80 watt uh, 36 cell solar panel so at the moment all eight cells are 3.41 i think across the board uh, let's have a look at the first four yeah they're all 3.41 and the second set of four cells are 3.41 but i know that cell eight is going to race ahead of the others uh, given a little bit of time i just know it because i was uh, doing this a couple of days ago right cell eight has now started to uh, move ahead of the others it's at 3.52 and the others are all in the 3.4s now when that gets to 3.6 the charger should switch on the um, discharge resistor so it should put a resistor across well, these last two wires so that it starts to discharge or at least offset some of the current that's being put through all the cells uh, offset some of the current going to cell 8 to try and hold its voltage down the maximum for these lithium ion phosphates is 3.6 volts and we've just hit that now so now what's happened is that cell 8 has hit 3.6 volts and I assume that the energy charger is uh, holding the resistor on the discharge resistor on pretty much all the time although sometimes it seems to creep up and then creep back down again so maybe it's switching it on and off but the other cells are way behind uh, they're at 3.4 something so it would be more sense if it just held the discharge resistor on for cell 8 constantly uh, now you can see that the main charge current has dropped to 0.1 amps well it's going to take an age for uh, the other cells to charge at 100 milliamps that one there's at 3.39 that's cell 3 and cell 8 is at 3.60 so the uh, Turnergy charger can't carry on charging at 1 amp because a fly just attacked me because um, then the discharge resistor which I think is 300 milliamps on this unit wouldn't be able to offset that current and cell 8 would go over voltage by quite a lot. Now although that you can see um, sort of when this turns the discharge resistor on, so that's creeping up 3.63 and now it's dropping back 3.62, 3.61 so you can kind of assume that the discharge resistor is on now it'd be much nicer if this charger actually put a little extra dot or something on there or change that symbol or change something to indicate when the discharge resistors are actually being switched into circuit you can kind of see it but I'd rather have a much more convincing indication so I can kind of feel another project coming on um, an intelligent cell discharger stroke balancer probably not a charger because I don't want to have to build all the complexity of the charging circuitry but a discharger and balancer would be a useful thing and then you could discharge any cells that are high like this one bring them back into the sort of ballpark of all the other cells and then put it on the main charge again now I'm kind of thinking 
eight Arduinos looking at the eight voltages uh, between these nine wires here. Each Arduino measuring its own power supply. There is a technique for doing that where you measure the ADC and then reference it to uh, a, volta a fixed voltage reference. And then they'd all be connected to a sort of master control unit via opto isolators, a sort of two-way communication. So the master control unit could say like, uh, unit one, what's your cell voltage? And then unit one would transmit that serially through an opto isolator. And then the master control unit could say, okay, unit one, um, switch on your discharge resistor. And the discharge resistors on my unit will be light bulbs because I want to see the energy being discharged uh, rather than just discharged into resistors where you can't see what's going on. Yeah, like little six volt halogen light bulbs or something like that. It would look quite pretty. So I think I'm going to have to leave this just for ages charging at 100 milliamps with cell 8 uh, right at its upper limit would be so much better if it brought cell 8 down aggressively so that it's not sitting right at its upper voltage limit the whole time while the other cells aren't. This is way off the termination voltage which is 28.8 you can see that if you press minus end voltage is 28.8 which is 8 cells uh, and currently it's only 27.7 so yeah each uh, Arduino sitting across one of these pairs of wires there would be 8 of them would have control of a light bulb, quite a powerful light bulb, uh, through a MOSFET which would be pulse width modulated so that uh, you could perhaps at the maximum dump one amp but if you 50% PWM it you'd be dumping half an amp then there'd be um, TX and RX serial through opto isolators because of course all these voltages are at different levels so all opto isolated back to the master unit probably all paralleled up because only one unit would need to be communicated with at a time and then it would measure its own voltage uh, on one of its analog to digital inputs and I think that's all the little slave units would need and then the master unit would have uh, a little display and maybe a rotary encoder or some sort of control interface but uh, this is taking forever at uh, 100 milliamps it's hardly budged off 27.7 volts for the entire pack I think I could be here for uh, for some time. Cheerio.